Hello everyone. Talk about some more Richard Matheson stories from the Penguin Classics edition. Um, almost done. Almost through these stories now, but just have a um, not too many more to talk about. So got about four I'm going to talk about for this video. So the first one is called One for the Books, and this is more of a lighter story, kind of a comedic story about a a custodian or janitor at a university who suddenly finds that his intelligence is beginning to expand. And it's, it seems to coincide with if he's in the political science department, cleaning offices, suddenly he becomes an expert in political science. So, so it's, this is kind of, a, I guess, a satire tone to the story as well. But it's an um, interesting one. It's, it's kind of a riff if you're familiar with Flowers for Algernon or the movie Charlie about a man who's low intelligence who, through an experimental procedure, becomes brilliant. This short story is kind of different from that, but it's kind of also a riff on, on that idea. So, interesting story um, for the books. Next one is called Now Die In It. What a title, right? Um, so... Just by that title alone, you're expecting something um, pretty brutal and violent to happen in the story. And the story does not disappoint. Um, this one's rather short. I, I don't want to reveal too much. But basically, a husband and wife are wrapping up dinner, doing the dishes. Or no, they're, they're, they're cooking, I think, is how the story begins. So it's this very idyllic setting. And then a phone call. They get a phone call from a mysterious man who um, threatens threatens them. And I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, this story reminded me of the movie, and it's also a graphic novel called A History of Violence. And if you're familiar with the movie or the story, the David Cronenberg movie from the 2000s, this this short story called that to mind. So, so yeah, um, Good story, um, solid story. Um, next one is called um, The Conqueror. And this one's a change of pace. This is kind of a, a Western. I think this is the only Western. I, I know Matheson wrote Westerns, but this is the first one of his that I've read. And it's um, a good story. It starts out kind of um, a little basic, I guess, where you it, we're following a young gunslinger. And then the narrator of the story is this old man who encounters this um, young gunslinger. And the story kind of moves in a kind of an expected way until the end. It, it has a great twist ending. And it, it can, and one of those endings that kind of makes you reconsider the entire story. It's commenting on, on a lot of the mythology of the West and specifically that of the, the gunfighters, I believe, the kid. People like that. So really like that story um, called um, the, the Conqueror. And the last one I'll talk about is called The Holiday Man. <laughs> this is a very short story. Um, it's, once again, we're following a suburban man who's going off to work, says goodbye to his wife. He seems like he's kind of a gruff guy, kind of a surly guy who doesn't just an unhappy guy overall, and um, we kind of learn why that's so. When he goes to his job, which appears to be a very mundane, everyday job in the cubicle, and then in perfect Matheson fashion, we discover, oh no, it's not that at all. So, so yeah, the Holiday Man is is a nice, um, nice little short. So four really strong stories here, and um, I might just do one more video. I hope to wrap all these up in the next video. So until then, um, have a good day and um, I'll see you later.